high-end performance gyms, running clinics, and pro teams are in the know of this simple exercise that helps avoid hamstring pulls. We're going to talk about what exercise that is on this next back and body video. Hi, Dr. Dave Perna here, your chiropractor with Back and Body, your collaborative care approach of chiropractic physical therapy and acupuncture in Midtown Manhattan, New York City on 58th and Lexington, as well as in Springfield on US 22 East in Springfield, New Jersey, where we service the patients of Springfield, Westfield, Milburn, Scotch Plains, and Garwood. Today we're going to talk about an exercise that is getting more and more popular amongst uh, high performance centers that work with athletes to avoid injury or prehab or what have you. There's a lot of research lately that suggests eccentrically loading your hamstrings in certain positions uh, yield more positive t results in avoiding injuring the hamstring in the future. The exercise they feel is most effective to do this is what's called a Nordic curl. We're going to show you what that exercise is shortly. But Nordic curls uh, lengthen the hamstring under tension. It mimics the demands of the lengthening of a hamstring during a stance or terminal phase of running, right before the hamstring has to go through the initial phase of shortening. So this is a very weak and septal point for re-injuring or injuring a hamstring. Just as it's at a, a point where it's eccentrically loaded and about to change directions from getting stretched out to quickly contracting uh, to push off. So right now we're going to show you what a Nordic curl is. While kneeling down with uh, someone holding your feet, you're going to fall into a push-up position. Coming up is very difficult for most people with this. It's important to stress the fall, the eccentric loading of the hamstring. That's the most important part of this exercise. We use the pad underneath the knees for additional comfort. If you're out in the field and don't have a pad, a sweatshirt or a towel will do. Again, the most important part of this exercise is to stress the fall. So try to contract those hamstrings as best as you can and control that fall uh, slowly coming down as best as you can. So it's a pretty simple exercise. You can see how it's getting more and more popular because you don't need a piece of equipment to do it. You just need maybe somebody else to hold your legs. So if you're working in a group setting, uh, with a bunch of other runners, or if you're in a sport such as football, baseball, you just grab a partner and you do these um, uh, before you start your uh, practice or play a game. Typically, we recommend that you do a short bur uh, bout of low reps uh, to do this, and it's the eccentric portion, the lowering or lengthening portion, that's the most important part of this exercise. Uh, this works on weak or previously injured hamstrings with shortened tendons. A Nordic curl is provided at an eccentric load, which has been shown in studies to create a lengthening of a tendon that's either weak or shortened from prior injuries. For more information such as this, visit our websites, uh, backofbodyny.com if, if you're in the New York City area, or if you're in New Jersey, backofbodynj.com. Click on the link that says blog. We'll see you soon.